Hello, NTNU wind turbine designers. In this episode, I'll be discussing the relationship between the generator spreadsheet and ashes. So let's jump straight into ashes here. So uh, now on the screen, uh, you can see ashes with um, a relevant wind turbine mo model and the spreadsheet that you by now should have gotten access to. And to reiterate, the topic of to this episode is to compare and to discuss briefly the relationship between this spreadsheet and ashes. Um, well, to briefly, the spreadsheet presents the algorithm used for the generator you are building that is implemented in ashes. So these algorithms are identical. So that means that you should be this should be possible for you to get identical answers in ashes to your spreadsheet. And this is actually a very good check and a, a highly recommended check to see that you can get exactly the same uh, results in ashes as you're getting in the spreadsheet. But what kind of settings do you need to get exactly the same results? So first, let us add the electrical uh, sensor that is available for the generator you're building. So to do that, we click the generator part. And here we see that we have the, um, the default sensor uh, active, but we can also choose to have the electrical sensor, which is very relevant for your case. So definitely use uh, this sensor also. So if I click that, then you'll see the sensor uh, um, is added here. Mm -hmm. And then we'll look at a setting in analysis parameters. So open the analysis parameters um, window and then switch to loads only. So loads only, as we have discussed in a previous me uh, video, means that there is no Newton's second law an anymore. We're just looking at loads for a, a specific or a specified um, RPM. So that means that there, there are no dynamics during this sim simulation. The RPM will stay exactly at the uh, number you have uh, chosen. And that number is set in the initial conditions. So we have set RPM to 1500 here. Right, and then if you set the, the parameters in the spreadsheet and ashes identical, we expect to see the um, identical results in the sensor and in um, the spreadsheet. So if I start this simulation, one thing to observe here is that the, well, to, is that the um, RPM is constant as we discussed. There's no second law, so there's no way to change the, the velocities. Uh, there's no ac acceleration. Um, and if you see here, we have a voltage of 16.12. And at the bottom of the spreadsheet, we have a voltage of 16.12, so I identical. Uh, the current is 1.04, current 1.04. The power is 48.8 watts, uh, power 48.8. So the point 
as that I'm trying to make here is that if you're, it is possible when you should make sure that you, that you're able to get exactly the same results because that mean means you have the same model of your generator in ashes as you have in your spreadsheet. Okay, that's it for this episode. Talk to you soon, and please remember to uh, either hit uh, the like button if you want to see more videos like this, or the dislike button if you don't. And even better, leave some comments, um, positive or ne ne negative. That's extremely valuable uh, for us.